What happened to the covenant you had with Allah? Why have you thought about it? Why does the cat run away with a stolen meat? They sit right in front of you and eat whatever you give to it. Have you ever thought about it? This is common sense and human instinct working over here. There are so many times your instinct tells you to do something right. Your common sense tells you that this thing I'm doing is not right. I should stop. And yet, the other part of you feels like doing it. It's better for you not to interfere in your human instinct. Can you ever stop yourself from attending to nature's call? If you can, it always interferes with your natural instinct. But if you can't stop yourself from attending to nature's call, allow your human instinct, your natural human instinct, and your common sense to work for you. What happened to the covenant that you had with Allah before we were created? We had a covenant with Allah. We all testified that He is our Lord. What happened? And now you are going against His commands. You are going against His ways. What happened to that covenant that you took on that day? If you allow your natural human instincts to work for you, I bet you it will be difficult for you to go wrong because there are so many things that sometimes you do and even right after doing it, your common sense or your human instincts tells you, no, this thing that I did, it was wrong. Without even somebody interfering, without even someone questioning you, you feel like what I did was wrong. That is your natural human instinct talking to you. The cat hide to eat a stolen meat because it feels it was stolen. So why should I allow someone to see me? But when it's given to it willingly, it will sit right in front of you and eat it. How wonderful, subhanAllah. That's an animal using his co its common sense and natural instincts to work over here how much more about me and you that we are giving sense we are giving the ability to think for ourselves let's have a look at another situation have you have you ever been under fear and panic the moment you are in a shock, what comes out of your mouth? You hear, Subhanallah, Oh Lord, Oh God, those kind of words shouting for a supreme help. The moment you are in a shock, at that particular time, you are not thinking for yourself. Your natural instincts works. You shout out for a supreme help. As our dear Sheikh Mufti Menke will say, when the flight drops, Iman rises. At that particular moment, you know that there is something bigger that can give you that help that you are looking for. Have you found yourself in a situation uncontrollable by you? then you start praying to god you start praying to your lord looking for solution asking for help that's your natural instincts working for you because you know he's the only one who can help you but the moment you are out of that situation what happens we easily forget as humans 
that's why i'm saying always allow your natural instincts listen to it listen to your natural instincts it does tells you something good it leads you on the right path if you are able to work with it if you are able to listen to the signs the first points that's your natural instincts tells you to do you will be good yes you'll be good because it never goes wrong right away it will give you the direct answer i'm wrong no i feel like what i did was wrong yeah what i did was wrong no i feel i've done the i've done the best thing in my life that's your natural instincts directing you so don't forget that covenant that you took on that day and do the right thing for your soul as the prophet peace be upon him said the difference between good and bad is very obvious there is no intermediate here if you do something and it's good you yourself you know what i've done is good and the same way if it is bad that one to you will know what i've done is bad you don't need someone to lecture you on it you don't need someone to remind you to tell you what i'm doing is wrong so why don't you fulfill that covenant why don't you do the right thing for the benefit of your own self for the goodness of your soul remember that covenant you took with Allah obey his command they are very simple to go by can you count the number of halal things that are available for you on this earth no you can't what about the haram one you can give it a try and see which one will be countable and which one will be uncountable so why do you want to damage your own soul why do you want to hurt yourself by not obeying simple instructions by not doing the right thing for yourself ask yourself if you do the right thing knowing that if i take these steps i want to be a teacher in the future what do you do you start going to school from there you want to further you want to further do all the achievable things to become a teacher because you know you are on the right path we all want paradise we all want to go to heaven when we say may allah grant us heaven we say amen but we should know that the amen alone is never enough you will have to do the right thing right now Commit yourself to doing the right thing. And with the amin attached, you shall achieve it. Don't forget that covenant you took on that day, testifying that he is your Lord. If you love someone, you obey the person. You don't want to do things against the person. You don't want to hurt the person if you love allah knowing that he is your rabbi then do the right thing for yourself in the end who is going to lose you and i are the losers decide now to be a winner and you will be a winner always remember to say alhamdulillah and be the best kind of you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.